Hello everyone and welcome to this Binance tutorial. In this video I will show you how to enable the two-factor authentication on the Binance exchange. The first thing you will need to do to activate the two-factor authentication on Binance is to go over to their website and then log in. Once you're logged in, go over to the top right and hover your mouse over this icon. You'll then see this pop-up and over at this pop-up you need to click on security. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. In this video I won't go over how to enable the security key, but I will go over how to enable the Google Authenticator, the SMS authentication and how to change your email address, which will be used for withdrawals and security modifications. If you want to learn how to set up the Google Authenticator for Binance, this is what you need to do. Go over to Google Authentication and then click on the On button. On this page you'll see that you need to download the app. So go over to your phone and download the Google Authenticator. Once you have downloaded the app, click on Next. You'll now need to go back over to your phone again and then open up the Google Authenticator app. The next thing you'll need to do is to click on the plus button in the bottom of the right side. You'll then need to select the QR code button. Now click on the scan QR code button and then make sure that the QR code is visible on your computer screen. And there you have it, Binance in the Google Authenticator. But we're not done yet. Once you've got Binance in the Google Authenticator app, go back over to your computer and click on Next. You'll now get a backup key. Please save this key on paper. This key will allow you to recover your Google Authenticator in case of phone loss. Resetting your Google Authentication requires opening a support ticket and takes at least 7 days to process. Once you've saved your backup key, click on Next. Now the last thing you'll need to do is to fill in the email verification code and the Google verification code. In this case, my Google verification code is 768149. Once you've filled in everything you need to fill in, click on Submit. The second two-factor authentication you can enable is the SMS authentication. To do this, go over to On and then click on the button. You'll then see this page. Here you need to fill in your phone number. Once you have filled in your phone number, you need to click on the send code button. And then there will be a six figure code sent to your phone number. In this case, the code I need to fill in is 574368. You'll then also need to fill in your email verification code. So click on the get code button and then go over to your email. If you have the Google Authenticator enabled, you will also need to fill in your Google verification code. Once you have filled in everything you need to fill in, Click on the submit button. As you can see, right now the Google Authenticator and the SMS Authenticator are enabled. The last thing I want to show you in this video is how to change your email address. To do this, again, go over to this icon and then go over to security. You'll then be sent over to this page. And on this page, you need to go over to email address and then click on the change button. Please note, for your security, withdrawals from your account will be disabled for 84 hours once your email address is changed. In order to change your registered email address, you must enable the Google Authenticator or phone verification. You'll then need to fill in your email verification code. Once you have filled in your email verification code, now click in your new email, then confirm your new email and also fill in your new password. Once you've done that, the last thing you need to do is to click on next and then you need to verify your new email address. Since I don't want to change my email address, I won't do this. But basically it's the same process as verifying your old email address. You'll just get a six figure code into your email and then all you need to do is to copy and paste the address from your email into Binance. If you found this video helpful let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.